You know, had I known that the walls would have ended up being the back side of the cabinets, I probably would have got sanded. No big deal though, because we're going to play with some primer today. Right now, this is what the back part looks like. Um, <coughs> you know, if we center them over the window, that would be okay. What we're trying to figure out right now is I bought these super cool, literally cool, because it's going to cool me, uh, 12 volt fans with this built-in switch. And we're trying to figure out like where these things are going to go. They're not as good as the ones that come factory on the bus. These were like 30 bucks or something. These things, the ones that you use on the bus are like 80, 90 bucks. So I'm just trying to figure out like where to put these bad boys. I think they should go something like this. That way they can blow towards my feet or towards my face, depending on which way I'm, you know, in the opposite, right? Not that the wind's gonna cross, but if I'm sleeping this way and I want, you know, a fan to blow in my face, I can turn that one on. Or that one. You understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to live a world in a world without air conditioning, and it's not very easy, so bear with me. I'm trying to do my best here. Uh, besides that, it looks like today is going to be a day that I install backup camera. By the way, this is the second time I'm using this backup camera. It's fantastic. Uh, a really nice guy gave me a backup. The same backup camera at the RTR used to be in home security. Uh, I don't have his card, so I forget his name, but you know who you are, so thank you so much uh, the last time. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to use it again. 720p. Uh, HD it has a 1.8 aperture for um, uh, low light which is really good uh, if you guys know cameras you know you understand what that means but anyways this is a good, really good one what's a model number just so you guys know forget the X part WD007 now besides that stuff back there we also have 12 volt lights to install on the side of the bus I got four of them uh, we will be installing hopefully these speakers um, these were medium grade speakers, a little bit better than the cheap Pioneers I had last time. Those will go here and here. I also contacted an artist and um, I originally wanted to purchase some artwork, but it was a little bit outside my budget, so I you know, told her what I did, um, things like that, and so I might be getting a piece from her. And of course, that would be in all the tour videos that I do. Um, and of course, open houses and all that stuff. So um, that would be amazing. <laughs> really cool reclaimed artwork. Uh, what else? I feel like there's something going on with these silver. Oh, these are the recessed lights. Check these out. Um, if you guys need a model number, I got these on Amazon. So uh, look them up. But these are super, super cool. They are, are very shallow and they sit flush with the uh, ceiling and have little clips. All right, and these, this is what they look like. So they'll be sitting, they're a, a warm white, not, uh, not a, a, a uh, yeah, warm white, not a, you know, white white I forget what it's called you guys know what I'm saying but anyways look at how flush they are so those will sink into this uh, the cedar on the ceiling and uh, Steve and I put some tape where we kind of want some of the uh, lights um, anyways we're just kind of running some wires back and forth with speakers today's a great day oh also shout out to uh, Renee and Justin Mojo Bus for all their help and also of course Steampunk Steve you saw him in, I don't know, either earlier or yesterday's video, whatever this one turns into. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for all the help. I am not an expert builder. I don't have a background in this. Um, and it's fun to learn, and it's also just awesome to have people who support you to, to help you out. So it's much appreciated. For all you uh, car audio dummies like me, it's, uh, there's probably a book titled Car Audio for Dummies. We left an extra amount right so it kind of 
can sit in there, you can pull the wire out and connect things and push it in. We gave a little slack over here. It looks like some kind of, I don't know, bridge going across, like a, you know, whatever. Got plenty of uh, slack in the front to go down here, and then the headset will be right there with a video backup camera that I was just talking about earlier. I'm gonna run a couple wires here and here. Beyond that, I honestly don't know what the heck I'm do doing as far as like how to install a radio, but uh, whatever. I guess we'll just figure it out. All right, so Steve is helping me out with uh, the wiring for the 12 volt fans, and as you can see, we have a uh, positive and a negative, which travels across this thing. And then curiously, it stops here. And so I just asked Steve a moment ago, I said, now why did you cut it here? Because why wouldn't you go all the way to the battery? And Steve told me that... Power's gonna come up the red one, and you got two red here. The power can keep going to that. Ground is here, and it's in your switch. So the switch is off. No power is going to this fan. The power can still go through this to the other. That fan. is so cool. So it's effectively, you can leapfrog over that fan, but still have power running through the wires. So it's, it's like having your living room. Your living room has four. Has maybe has two different lights on two different switches. On the same circuit? Oh yeah, same you're thing. right. Yeah, see? I'm learning things. I'm getting learned. My uh, Go GoPro battery is dead, okay. so I'm not going to do any fancy uh, time-lapse things of us working, but I can tell you that uh, Steve is stapling in wires. <laughs> so this is for the backup camera. Uh, we're going to wrap that in uh, electrical tape. Um, this is the power, which... Steve suggested that we plug it into this, actually. Plug it right into the fan circuit. I don't think you're going to be driving down the road with both fans going and the lights on back here. And that none and, of this draws that much power. Yeah. So uh, that'll simplify things. Um, yeah. So we're just uh, doing that. These are all connected. The yellow is a RCA. That is uh, where the video goes, and that runs down, and that's on the floor. It'll be up there. Okay. There's going to be wood and wood and room for wires in the middle. And it'll go buy, all the way to the front. Yes, Steve? If, if you're watching this video and you buy this bus off of Jax at some point, <laughs> there's a Steampunk Steve card stuck in the back wall. All right. I'm signing this job. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. I was actually thinking about writing my name someplace. So that 50 years later somebody comes across this bus, rips it apart, they'll see my name across. Uh, when they install the hover, the hoverboard stuff that we were all promised in the right. future. When, when, they, when they do the hydrogen uh, uh, conversion, engine conversion on this thing, they'll see, <laughs> they'll see our, our uh, name somewhere. If found, please keep these. Huh? This is uh, Actually, it's 9-11-2018. Steampunk Steve and I left our, car our cards as a little capsule. So if you guys find this 50, 100 years later, after this bus has gone around the world, <laughs> I signed it and uh, put built made October. Hopefully it will be done in October. But uh, this is uh, the antique backup camera, which in today's term is the highest tech backup camera pretty much you can get which is funny so all you guys in the future who find this um, this is what we're doing here 12 volt I don't know if you guys are gonna have 12 volt wiring 100 years from now but I probably guess you will works pretty well you guys will probably have wireless energy at that point in time but uh, that's where the speakers are going this is the RCA cable I think I mentioned that before you can go all the way to the front it's not long enough so we'll have to find a uh, Little connector. Steve's running a speaker wire from the front. That's going to be the front passenger. It's going to wire it all the way up here, and then all the way down, and then over. And uh, what else? Yeah, we're just doing. A, I guess we're doing 12 volt electrical right now. We're, we we he's even got some of these wiring going across for the switches. Those are going to go in the um, armrest slash entrance panel. 
as you enter, though, on the left-hand side, right about here, there will be some switches. So, uh, we got that. We also need to run wiring for this amazing fan, ceiling fan. So we'll have to do that and run all the way down the channel. All the uh, electronics, well, all the electricity will be out of this corner. This will be storage, access from the back, probably blocked off. Um, that will be the water side. Not water slide, but water side. Water all the way down, up into here, up into the sink, back around the other side, up the wall into the shower. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna play around with some more wires and we'll check in in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the rear cap. I don't know the correct term for this, but I'm calling it a rear cap. There is a little gap on the rear cap. No big deal. I think that's gonna be pretty good for uh, audio. A little hollow right there. Uh, there are a couple sets of uh, screw holes because we, uh, it was off a little bit and it created a gap on the right here part. The further this way it went, so we kind of went that way a little bit, but or vice versa, I forget, but we also had to take out some little plastic wire protector thing. But this is, uh, yeah, there's a wire for the speaker there. That's nice and happy. There's a wire for this speaker here. That's nice and happy. We got wires coming down. They're also nice and happy. Everything's nice and happy. These are where the fans are going, like I said. Uh, wood slats will bump right into this, and then we won't have to have any sort of molding whatsoever. Uh, there's a good chance I'll either clean this up or do another layer, <laughs> layer of paint. We got it dirty. And we're going to have to plug the holes with uh, wood putty, sand them. So probably paint this whole thing again. So like I said, we got the back end cap done. Check this out. We got the front one mounted. Steve is cutting out very carefully. He only needs to do the center round part, but he's <laughs> cutting out. Um, the room for the speaker it needs to sit back in there two and a half inches, maybe even three. So I'm right handed. So basically, you know, we're just gonna kind of cut some of this foam out and put a speaker in. We got six inches of foam. True. Well, what do you have to say about that? I don't even know what, what to say about that. Uh, this is what is going on the uh, ceiling. This will be the side that faces down. It is a uh, cedar. Uh, it's very thin. Even less than a quarter inch, I think, right? Sure. <laughs> like an eighth of an inch. Uh, it's very thin. And so right now, I think I mentioned before, we have a chalk line down. We're The reason we're starting in the middle is because we want the middle to be perfectly centered so we can sink uh, recessed lights in. Normally, <laughs> you would, also, to have an equal space uh, where the lights are in, actually I should show you up here. So we have an equal distance from center to here. Just We're just trying to be very precise. An equal distance from the midpoint here. Uh, otherwise you would start on the edge, but we're trying to center the middle because it's three and a half inches wide with a two and a half inch wide hole for the lights. So we're trying to be extremely precise here. Mm -hmm. 